Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. As I showed in the last channel update back in July, I've started work on a new project, um, which is a revamp of my Salterbeck layout. Um, for those that haven't seen it, this is the layout I made during the first lockdown last year um, using a, an old bookshelf and um, whatever track I had lying around effectively. Um, it's based on part of Workington Station, um, which served as a stabling area for locomotives. Um, to which I added a sort of short siding and, and head shunt to basically do a bit of uh, basic shunting uh, when I got bored moving the engines around. Um, and this was fine at the time, um, but having made two layouts now using um, Pico Code 55 track and also had a go at using um, the new Pico Unifrogs and um, the older Electro Frog points, um, I can see I can do much better to get it to look better, but also more importantly to make it a lot more reliable um, than using the, the insulating points um, which I had on the original, um, which I found is, is quite important when you're running um, your engines quite slowly, um, as you find that any slight um, loss of connectivity in the engine pretty much stops dead, whereas if you go quickly, then the momentum sometimes carries you across it. Um, so what I decided to do is take up the track um, and replace it with um, the Code 55 and Unifrog points on the main bit and then use some Electro Frog points um, where they didn't fit. Um, this was done fairly easily, if quite messily, um, by basically just wetting the ballast with some water. Um, what you need to, need to do is sort of wait for the PVA glue to loosen slightly and then just lifted it up with a screwdriver. As well as replacing the track, I also decided to add a second board to the original. Um, so this is to allow a sort of permanent fiddle yard, um, which you didn't have before, and also add some additional sidings for a bit more shunting. Um, the sidings will be part of a sort of wagon repair yard, effectively, and will be based very loosely on the um, former, former wagon repair yard at Kirk near Carlisle, um, and also have some influences of the much closer wagon repair yard at the um, former Workington engine shed. Um, which in the actual prototype is basically just next door to, to the station. For the track join between the two boards, um, I've used two different approaches. Um, the first one is one I've used before on Coca-Cola Peelish, um, which is basically just to add a, a connector that you can get from Kato to connect Kato track to Pico track. Um, and then what I then do is sort of add Kato track as necessary for the fiddle yard. Um, what this allows me to do is I can connect it up to other layouts if I want to do that, or I can alter the fiddle yards um, as I need it. And the second way um, I've tried is using the, um, the ProTrack rail aligners from Model Tech. Um, for the, the join that you can actually see um, on the layout, there isn't kind of hidden at the back. Um, and they seem to work quite well so far. Um, the only change from the instructions I've, I've made is to glue the track to the connectors um, rather than using solder. Um, I've got a bit of a, a love-hate relationship with soldering. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't work well, and I can't live me figure out why that is. So if there's any method or, or way of avoiding soldering, then, I, then I'll take it. The new track and wiring for this um, means that I can run the layout in either DC or, or DCC. Um, so for DC, I've got five isolated sections, um, and then just to run it for DC, all you need to do is just to switch these on. Um, because I've used the, the Unifrogs and the Electrofrogs, um, they're all good for either operation too. And one final other change that I've made from the original layout, um, what I did find when I, um, I was using a bit of a, a fiddle yard for the original was that, um, and again, I was using that, that Kato track was that there was a slight difference in height between the Kato track and the Pico track. And what that, seems to co what that seemed to cause was um, a low coast to stop um, on the join. Um, this was nearly always the, the class 47s, um, which is particularly annoying as from the photos of the real place, um, they were one of the most common low coast to visit there. So I needed to get it right for them. To solve that, what I did was basically just add two layers of cork matting underneath the, the Pico track um, so it is nice and level now, so the, the, the locos do transition, do that transition, no bother at all, so yeah, it, it works well. And that's pretty much where I'm up to for now, um, so I'll leave it there for this video, and let me know what you think in the comments section below, and I'll see you next time.